Welcome back fellow learners, to an electrifying journey ahead. In our last video from Module 4, we delved into the world of cranes and rigging. If you missed it, don't worry, there's always time for a quick recap. This module is intended for workers who want to learn about cranes, derricks, hoists, aerial lifts, and conveyors. But now, let's charge up for Module 5. But hold on, before we kick things off, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon for all the latest updates. And remember, it's essential to have caught up on the previous modules to follow along seamlessly. Module 5 is a powerhouse of knowledge, focusing on a vital subject, electrical safety for construction. Here, we'll navigate through the basics, understanding OSHA's pivotal role in safeguarding against work-related illnesses and injuries. It's all about identifying hazards, steering clear, taking control, and adhering to set standards. OSHA's 1926 subpart K electrical focuses in on ensuring the safe usage of electricity. Despite its potential hazards, electricity is widely used as a power source in various industries, while some employees, such as engineers, electronic technicians, and power line workers, work with electricity directly during construction, while office workers and salespeople work with electricity indirectly. This module is split into two electrifying lessons. First up, Introduction to Electrical Hazards and Control, followed by Electrical Hazards, Other Preventive Measures. Let's power up our understanding with these essential key terms, think of them as the building blocks of the electrical world. First, we've got amperes or amps, picture this as the flow volume of the current, the juice that keeps things running. Next in line is AWG, American Wire Gauge, a size measurement standard for wires, think of it as a wire's fashion size. Now, imagine a circuit, it's the full journey of the current, from its source to the conductors and even the load, like your favorite lamp or trusty heater. Conductors, these materials are like the highway for electrons, they let the current breeze through. Current, it's the flow of electric charge in a circuit, the lifeblood of electricity. Be cautious of electric shock, that jolt you really want to avoid, it's the body's reaction to an electric current flow. And then there's electrocution, the serious business, it's what happens when an electric shock leads to, well, the worst case scenario. Ever heard of GFCI? That's the superhero preventing disasters, it's the ground fault circuit interrupter, ready to sense even the tiniest leak in the circuit and shut it down, stopping electric shock in its tracks. Grounding, it's like the safety net, it's the intentional connection to the earth that helps divert any fault current away from you. Now, insulators, are like electric roadblocks, they significantly reduce or stop the flow of electricity. Resistance, it's the pushback, the opposition to electric current flow in a material. Volts, they're like the electric force, measuring the potential difference driving current in a circuit. And watts, these guys measure the energy transfer or the power rate in an electrical system, they're the speedometers of electricity. Lastly, wire gauge, the tape measure for wires, measuring their physical size, think of it as their dress size in the electrical fashion world. Now, let's dive into our first electrifying lesson. Introduction to Electrical Hazards and Control Hold on to your hats because here's a shocking fact, even the tiniest trickle of electrical current can wreak havoc when it meets a circuit. That innocent-looking switch, it can turn into a potential threat in the blink of an eye, putting anyone nearby at serious risk. Let's shed some light on electrical burns. Electrical burns are the most common type of shock-related injury, and they are severe enough to require treatment at special burn hospitals. Burns typically occur on the hands, although other parts of the body may be affected and are severe injuries that require immediate attention. Many burns occur as a result of arc flash. Let's talk about arc flash. In the case of arc flash, additional internal injuries may occur with the burns due to the concussion force produced by the explosion from the arc flash. 
The heat an arc flash produces is four times hotter than the sun's surface. During an arc flash incident, a significant amount of concentrated radiant energy bursts outward from electrical equipment, generating pressure waves that may impair a person's hearing, a high-intensity flash that can harm eyesight, and a superheated gas ball capable of causing severe burns to a worker's body and melting metal. But that's not all, brace yourself for electrical shock. Electric shock can lead to direct and indirect injuries. Workers at elevated positions facing electric shocks risk severe falls, resulting in serious injury or fatality. Overhead and buried power lines pose grave hazards due to their transmission of extremely high voltage. Fatal electrocution is the primary risk, yet burns and falls from heights are also significant dangers. Using wires that are too small for the current poses a hazard. Damaged insulation in electrical tools or appliances can energize exposed metal parts, increasing the likelihood of shock, especially if the tool lacks grounding or double insulation. Lastly, voltage differences exist between phase conductors or between a phase conductor and grounded components in grounded systems. And now, let's take a peek at the study questions. All right, time to amp up our knowledge with the second lesson. Electrical hazards, other preventive measures. Brace yourselves, because these measures are the superhero capes in the world of electrical safety. Let's shine a light on GFCI's main functions. GFCI detects imbalances in electrical currents, even as small as 5 milliamps, and interrupts the circuit to prevent electric shocks rapidly shuts off power to the circuit when it senses a ground fault, thereby reducing the risk of severe injury or electrocution. Installed in areas prone to moisture or water sources, GFCIs comply with safety standards and electrical codes mandated in various locations for enhanced safety measures. Now, let's dig into grounding. Grounding creates a low resistance path from a tool to the earth to disperse unwanted current. Employers must prioritize safety using ground fault circuit interrupters or assured equipment grounding conductors at construction sites. Lastly, safe cord connection. Connecting flexible cords properly with strain relief prevents direct stress on joints or terminal screws, enhancing safety. Equipment or de-energized circuits must be rendered inoperative and have tags attached at all points, where the equipment or circuits could be energized. And now, the study questions await. Now, let's spotlight the statistics for electrical hazards. Over 5 workers face electrocution each week. Electricity accounts for 12% of workplace deaths among young workers. In last, roughly 10 individuals endure electrical burns daily. Let's charge up with essential life-saving tips. Always remember, low voltage does not mean low hazard. Steer clear of tools and equipment that can come into contact with power lines to reduce risks. Ensuring the wire matches the appropriate current is crucial for safety. Avoid improper use of cords to prevent shocks, burns, or fire incidents. Use proper signage and labeling consistently in all areas with electrical hazards to ensure safety. Protect conductors entering boxes, cabinets, or fittings from abrasion for added safety. Wet clothing, high humidity, or sweat can heighten the risk of electrocution. Remember that, wearing a hard hat offers head protection up to 20,000 volts of electrical energy. Lastly, ensure all wiring components and equipment in hazardous places are in tip-top shape, keep them dust-tight, dust-ignition-proof, or explosion-proof for added safety measures. And here's your chance, got any queries or thoughts to share, don't hesitate, the comment section below is all yours. As we gear up for Module 6, brace yourselves for even more excitement ahead. Remember to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated, until then, take care and stay safe.